team now have knowing that two, you have two pretty good goaltenders you know, to play this game for you? It's, uh, you know, obviously, it's, you know, it's a great problem to have. And you know, it's, it's, as we've said before, we're not a one-person team here. And I just want to make that perfectly clear. Deserve a better fate tonight. Kyle was sort of left out and hung out to dry that first goal, you think? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, just a little you know, defensive lapse. We started to, to watch the puck a bit, and the guy slipped behind us, which they're very good at doing. And, you know, got, got, uh, you know, got some wood on it. And I should say, uh, a graphite or whatever the sticks they use nowadays uh, on it, and it's in the back of our net. Could you see him as the game was going along starting to get more comfortable and maybe gain some confidence? You know that's a it's a goaltending question for a good you know for a goalie that's a Jason Tapp question but uh, there is some small things that you know he's catching the puck out in front of him and that's a good sign you know out, out challenging a bit more which is great great to see so yeah he was starting to to generate some confidence as the game uh, you know went on it was a huge save um, on our PP and uh, you know that's what that's what we need especially the most dangerous player short a goal guy in Austin Smith I mean how big was that save you know we were. We were coming in uh, all PKs, and I'm not just saying Colgate, but ours, ours, anybody's played with that intensity there that they had on their PK that last one. Look out! It would be uh, it'd be a long night for a lot of teams. And, you know, they're 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 a dangerous hockey club, and I'll tell you what, they're they're going to scare a lot of teams here, including ourselves down the stretch. Wayne had said, uh, you know, I've seen Colin every day in practice, that the team had a lot of confidence. In uh, is, that, is that true? Because a lot of guys may not play all the time, but uh, you know the teammates do believe in them when it's their when it's their turn. You never know until he's you know you give him a shot. And obviously he had the just like you know the week before, you know two weeks before we had that brown taste in our mouth. Well, I think he had that Denver taste in his mouth, and you know that, that's what this is all about. That's what sports is all about is getting a second chance. And you know he did tonight. Now that taste is gone. Now he has a good taste in his mouth. He's got to feed off that, just the same as he did with the other, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, you know Denver. So that's that's kind of how it works. It seemed also he did a better job controlling his rebounds. Was something he maybe struggled with early on. Is that did you see that? Yeah, he was getting you know much better, and that's actually you know, one of his strengths. This is uh, you know rebound control, and any good goalie has strong you know rebound control. So that's kind of how we set up. Do you have an update on Troy's uh, condition, whether he may or may not be playing tomorrow night? That will be a game time decision. And I, honestly, I do, I, I don't know. How serious is the injury? I don't think it was any uh, more serious than Josh Juris's injury, and he was back in a week. So, so that's how serious it is. 40 to 19 on face-offs. I mean, talk about just your ability to control the tempo or to control the puck. Such a dominant number there. Well, they contribute to our centermen, and you know all of them do do extra work with uh, Coach Beal. And Joe Beal has done a, you know, an excellent job with our forwards this year, and that's one area that he's been a tremendous asset with, along with Joe. Joe Dumais made chips in as well. So, you know, very, it, you know, for their work, it's great. But I tell you what, the you know work that those guys put in as coaches really helps. To keep Austin Smith off the scoreboard, just. Team to do that this year. What does that say about uh, your defense? It, it says that they were aware and you know, had a good stick on puck tonight, and they wanted to keep him to the outside. You know, there's a couple chances that you know he did have, but for the most part, you know, that, that was a focal point is to really bear down on him and know who you're playing against when you get out on that ice, and that's that separates the good from the. Great.